so hello and welcome back so in this video we will talk about the idea of um, essentially we will introduce 10,000 and 100,000 meaning that we will introduce larger numbers and um, there are other interesting things that we will discuss also in this video um, first of all um, essentially the, um, the when we talk about essentially these numbers we are basically talking about um, we are essentially talking about natural numbers meaning that if I loosely say that numbers for example numbers that doesn't mean anything really you essentially what what you have to specify what number what size what sort of number you're talking about whether it's a natural number or a whole number or a rational number or a real number or a or an imagined number whatever there is there is different sets of numbers of course in mathematics and we when we say that when we say a set of number when we say that the set of numbers essentially the idea of a set is something a set is, is essentially a collection of objects that are that have that can be essentially put together meaning that for example houses since all of them are houses they can be put together or animals since they are all animals they can be put together or essentially that's essentially a class of objects basically right now these number these for example the set of the set of natural numbers of course these will be studied in more detail in the later courses but the set of natural numbers would be for example in mathematics you write it as n you denote it as n and you write it as one two three and so on and so forth in curly braces and you see essentially three dots here which is called the ellipsis uh, which means that essentially the set keeps going on and on and on without any end meaning that um, essentially any natural number that you have there is always the possibility that you add one to that natural number and find the next natural number for example 45,653 plus of one would be 45,654 basically so that's the next natural number again you can add a one to this number and make the next number and then make ne the next number and so on and so forth right so that is called that is essentially so essentially here whenever we talk about numbers we are talking about natural numbers that is that is basically one thing now secondly secondly essentially what's um, if you take a look at these natural numbers what you will see is that you will see essentially something that is that that in mathematics is called a pattern mathematics is essentially full of different types of patterns that you can find in different things that occur in mathematics for example you can see that um, you can see that for example you have, that the natural numbers starts with the one and then you have two three four five and so on and so forth all the way up to nine right you go all the way up to nine and uh then after that if you add a 1 to 9 you will get a 10 right and then you have 11 you have 12 you have 13 you have and so on and so forth all the way up to 99 right if you add a 1 to 99 you'll get a 100 and then 101 and then 102 and then so on and so forth all the way up to 999 right so you see it and then you can again if you add it one to 999 you'll get a thousand and then 1000 1001 and then 1002 and then all the way up to 9999 and you can just keep going with this with this pattern 
and you can essentially specify different types of patterns and what you see here so the first thing is that all of these numbers that I've written in the first row they are all one digit numbers right all the numbers that I've written in the second row they are all one digit two digit numbers all of these numbers are three digit numbers all of these numbers are four digit numbers and so on and so forth right? and in each row you can see that basically the row starts with the smallest of such numbers the smallest of for example one digit numbers and it ends with the with the largest possible for example one digit number again 10 is the smallest two digit number and then 99 is the largest two digit number or essentially 100 is a three digit number is is, is the smallest three digit number but then 999 is the largest three digit number 1000 is a four digit number 9999 is the greatest four digit number and so on and so forth right so based on essentially based on this pattern what i can say is that so then again, one thing that I can say based on this pattern is that, for example, a 9, as you can see here, a 9, if you add a 1 to it, you'll get a 10, right? A 99, if you get a 1 to it, you'll get a 100. A 999, if you get a 1 to it, you'll get a 1,000. So I can, I can essentially write this here in this manner. I can say that 9 plus a 1 is going to give me a 10 which is the same thing as 10 times 1 right or essentially 99 if i add a 1 to it it gives me 100 which is the same thing as 10 times 10 or essentially if i say that for example in 999 if i add a 1 to it that gives me a thousand which is the same thing as 10 times 100 right so you see over here that these numbers essentially 10, 10, 10, 1, 10, 100. And then basically what happens is that, for example, 9999 plus a 1 is a 10,000, which is the same thing as 10 times basically a 1,000. And again, you can see that the the 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and then 1, 10, 100, and 1,000. So essentially, this is 1 times a 10 is a 10. 10 times a 10 is a 100. 100 times a 10 is a 1,000, and so on and so forth. And if you just keep, if you just keep looking at the pattern that you see here, you can just keep writing all of this all over and over again. So this is called the pattern and one interesting things and now one interesting thing about patterns that exist in mathematics is that when you see essentially a pattern like this you, so i mean most of the time you 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 actually want to use it in other places in mathematics and then what you will do is that you will um, essentially you will use essentially algebra in some manner and then prove it prove that prove that what whatever you see is going to happen over and over and over again no matter how much you keep writing the same pattern is going to repeat itself which means that then you have proved that this is a truth in mathematics mathematics and then this truth once you have basically once you have um, in, once you have proved it then it becomes a theorem the theorem is then something that is like a rule in mathematics and then that rule can be used in order to prove other things in mathematics so it's a it's a very it's a very interesting thing in um, in, in in essentially in mathematics it's this this is a very interesting thing okay of course we will get you if you come with me uh, with these courses these courses are going to be produced based on the same line of books based on the same ncrt line of books 
and then as we go through essentially each chapter one by one you will learn more and more about essentially all such little details and then over time you will we will learn essentially how to prove things how to how to create theorems how to make theorems how to use the theorems in other places in geometry in algebra in many different places essentially it's going i mean the 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 the, the journey itself is um is a very uh, is a very um, interesting journey of course um now so that that is one thing and about basically what i have written here so you see that essentially we said that nine is the is the smallest one digit is the greatest one digit number so then i can say that the greatest one digit number i can say that the greatest the greatest one digit number and number by number i mean the essentially a natural number right the greatest one digit number plus a one gives me essentially a 10 which is the smallest two digit number the smallest two digit two digit number and then again you can do the same thing so the the greatest for example two digit number plus a one is going to give me the smallest three digit number the the, the greatest for example three digit number plus a one is going to give me the smallest four digit number and so on and so forth now these these diff these essentially you have to you need you need to be care essentially you need to pay attention to these different little details that you find here and there in these ncrt essentially courses and then when you put them together you can you you, you will be able to use them in mathematics itself and then mathematics you can use it in and of itself for different purposes you can use mathematics in in in, in for example in electronics in uh, physics and so on and so forth but then essentially the same the same things the same little details that you find here you will be able to use them in uh, programming and programming i hear is th these days has become a, a very uh, a, a very um, it's the base of the world really i mean the world today cannot exist without computers and programming and so on and so forth right now um so then basically uh so then essentially attend that the we we wanted to introduce ten thousand and ten thousand as you can see is um is for example the the smallest is the smallest um over here if you go for uh, essentially you can say that 10,000 is over here and then after 10,000 you have 10,001, 10,002, 10,003 and so on and so forth and if you make all of these digits in essentially nines you would have five nines over here 99999 which would be 99,999 right so 10,000 is going to be is essentially the smallest five digit number, right? That is going to be the smallest five digit number. And then and then that's all about essentially the, the number 10,000. <clears> In the exact same way we can talk about basically the idea of, for example, the idea of, of, of the number 100,000. So 99,000. 999 plus a 1 becomes a hundred thousand and then you have hundred thousand one hundred thousand two hundred thousand three and then if you make all of these digits essentially nines you would end up with six nines so that's 999 999 which is 999,999 right 
So now about um, about essentially the number essentially about the number a hundred thousand um, about the number one hundred thousand. You see that the number is written. So essentially the hundred thousand you can write it as nine ninety nine nine ninety nine plus a one which is going to give you essentially a hundred thousand right now what you might have noticed in essentially all around you in the world whether you use computers or you write numbers down yourself or you write you see other people writing that numbers down is the fact that when you write a number, for example, like a hundred thousand, you, you you use essentially a comma. You use a comma after after three digits over here, right? And then if you have another digit over here, for example, a two, then you use a comma over here in order to separate the digits. And then, for example, this number you would read it as since there is essentially three digits here, three digits here, then this number becomes two million one hundred thousand, right? Two million one hundred thousand. But um, but then the um, essentially this number there is essentially this 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 way of reading the number and writing the number down, meaning uh, using punk different signs of punctuation and everything for the number is part of a system which is called essentially the Indian system of the Indian system of numeration uh, excuse me is it's 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 part of a system which is called the international system of numeration international system of system of numeration so the international system of numeration is different from a non number system of course so under number systems we understand for example the decimal number system the binary number system the uh, octal number system the hexadecimal number system the decimal number system so these these are number systems and and the number systems for example the decimal number system they have to do with essentially what happens with for example for example you have these place values in the number so this is the ones place value the tens place value the hundreds place value the meaning of those place values how many pebbles are there on the bag in the bags and so on and so forth and then what is how you would expand the number for example if, if you had a two here that would mean essentially two times ten and so on and so forth right so that all is regulated by the number system itself right but then uh, essentially the, the system of the system of numeration is something that is used in order to 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 specify some specific details for the for the number for example, you have essentially in the, in the whole world, as long as we are talking about humans, we are using the same decimal number system for people communicating with one another, right? Now the number system in, for example, in, 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 in some countries that follow the international number system of numeration for example this number is written this way so two million one hundred thousand if you use essentially if you use the if you go to India the same number would be written this way so you have three digits here two digits here two digits here whether whereas in the in international number system in the international system of numeration you have two digit one digit here three digits here and three digits here if you go to germany the same the same number would be written as two dot one zero zero dot zero 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 
and then if you had for example something like um, if you had a number like for example 2025.67 then essentially this number essentially the same number in germany would be written as 2025 comma 67 meaning that in that in there in in the german system of numeration instead of a point you use a comma instead of a comma you use a point it's the other way around essentially as far as the comma and the point are concerned right so now so now essentially there is a there is an international system of numeration and and there is also something called the indian there is something called the indian system of the Indian system of numeration. Indian system of numeration. In the Indian system of numeration, for example, the same number, which is 2,100,000, you write it as 21, comma, 0, 0, comma, 0, 0, 0. Of course, these commas are only used in order to separate the digits. They don't mean to. They don't mean decimal places or anything like that of course but but then essentially in, in the international system so, of numeration the number is written is read as two million one hundred thousand in the in the indian system of numeration the same number is read as 21 lakhs so it, it's called it's 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 20 21 lakhs so like means essentially one lakh is the same thing as um, one lakh essentially is is the same as 100,000 right and of course then 100,000 in the Indian system of numeration would be written as one zero one comma zero zero comma zero 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 which is essentially not read, read as essentially one 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 lakh basically right and then of course in the in the indian system of numeration you have for example the idea of uh, the idea of a crore which is something else we will get to that now if you want to come with me with these courses basically what i think i will do I'm going to keep going with these courses because these courses, I mean, these, these, this line of books, first of all, you can, using that, you can learn the basic, basics of mathematics really well. And it's really fun. I mean, using, using these books, it's, it's really fun. It's, it's a fun type of mathematics, basically. I mean, fun type of re learning the mathematics, essentially. Of course, in my personal experience, and then I try to, uh, express the same enthusiasm that I have through these courses so now if you want to if you come with me only in this in this course which is the chapter one of class six basically uh, we will talk about essentially the idea of lack and meaning the international system of numeration and the Indian system of numeration but then uh, from this from the next chapter or from the next course in 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 the in, in in this line of courses basically we will then move on to the to the international number system international system of numeration meaning then this number for example we will, we will write it as two comma one zero zero comma zero 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 right it's only and of course since essentially all of these books come from india of course then in the first chapter uh, there is the idea of the like and crow and all of those things which is of course widely used in india but then in the other parts of the world you don't hear about a like or a crow or an arab or things like that okay so that's that's all about that okay so now Essentially, you can, of course, for example, a number like two lakhs sixty four or forty six thousand, two lakhs forty six thousand eight hundred fifty three, which 
this 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 number essentially in the international system of enumeration would be 246,853 right now um this number of course you can you can expand it so you can write this as a uh, you can write this as two times for example 100,000 plus for example a 4000 4 times a 10000 4 times a 10000 plus for example 6 times a 1000 plus for example 8 times a 100 plus for example 5 times a 10 plus 3 times a 1 right so that is that is for example 246,853 or 2,46,853 okay. so that is that's all about that and so essentially in this number the 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 different digits again you can you can you can you can say that for example 2 is at the 100,000th place value 4 is at the 10,000th place value 6 is at the thousands place value or 8 is at the hundreds place value 5 is at the tens place value and 3 is at the ones place value right and if you like to do a couple of exercises i will write a couple numbers here you can if you want you can expand them so these numbers if you want to you can expand them. So that's 3 lakhs or 300,000. That's 3 lakhs 50,000, which is 350,000. That's 3 lakhs 53,500, which is 353,500. That's 4 lakhs 57,928, which is the same as 457,928. That's 4 lakhs 7,928, which is the same thing as 407. 1928 this is 4 lakhs 829 which is 400,829 4 lakhs 29 which is 400,029 right so hopefully this video was interesting and helpful uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you